A landscape can be understood as a unit of land area, okay, slightly bigger than the farm, you know, intermediate from the farm to a village or to a community or to a watershed that is bounded by natural uh, boundaries, for example, like a river or a mountain, something like that. Or it could be a unit that is politically or under a certain administrative uh, uh, council, for example. So a landscape refers to a unit of land yeah, with all the features in that unit of land that is intermediate you know between a farm and different other scales right as I mentioned to you it could be larger than even a, uh, a province or a district or, or, or a region now um, but the landscape has also people in it yeah. so in ECRAF we define landscape as a unit of um, piece of land for example that has both ecological and social features. Yeah? So you cannot divorce these two, social and ecological features. And um, the, the, the issue of participatory landscape management came into this whole thing of landscape. Uh, it's because landscape is beyond farm, okay? And beyond farm means more people, more stakeholders. So you ought to be thinking at more people, more spaces or land units coming together in one configuration and, and people working together to manage that particular area. So a lot of people will say, okay, how is it different from a farm management? And how is it different from, let's say, a council or a county management? Yeah, um, It is quite different, but similar. But I think that the distinguishing, distinguishing uh, sort of uh, element in landscape management as opposed to other types of management, let's say um, an administrative management, is that its interest is very focused on the reconciliation or uh, you know like the reconciliation of social and ecological goals altogether right so that's the key word there socio-ecological uh, goals coming together yeah so currently right now we are actually building a gender what we call a gender community of practice because the main goal of the center, and not just only ECRAF, but other international research organizations as well, is to actually mainstream gender in the research and um, uh, focus on addressing uh, really major gender concerns in the research. Now in ECRAF, of course, we're focusing on the issue of addressing inequity and inequality of uh, both men and women in the field of agroforestry. What we are seeing actually is that women are also active in community-wide activities, such as, for example, tree planting along the riverbanks, even doing some cleanup activities in their areas. So that it is important that women need to be, you know, women are, are involved, are engaged in the whole process because they really play a big role in, that, uh, in the community. Not to mention that there are many women, <laughs> I mean like the ratio of men and women population is, is, so, is so big. So it is, to me, uh, a failure of any research, whether it is in agroforestry or forestry or in watershed or in landscape management, to ignore the role of women um, in these activities.